Okay, so I'm about to work on a iPhone 6 Plus, it got Air 9. So it's the case where the miscommunication between um, um, the EPROM and the CPU. And today I'm going to do it uh, in a different way without the jumpers and and it will be permanent solution hopefully right, let's see which line is broken We're going to measure these registers here. Yeah, so this is broken. This one is reading 608. This is 406. That's what usually breaks in the clock. Show you uh, in the, here. Let's see what's going on. I've a look on the meter. So that's right. That's not right. So six zero eight is not good reading. Anyways, let's do it. All right, this way is risky. Your phone can die. Same as um, the other way as well. When you make jumpers, your phone can die as well if you damage the RAM or the CPU. So this is the same case. But that case, your CPU is gone. This case, if you reboot the CPU, still it's gonna be okay. So try this at on your own risk. I won't be responsible if you fuck up your phone so just be careful you need to be very very careful okay so what happens these are actually um, edges line lines on the edge they get disconnected especially this one and then uh, error 40 as well so if you if you're getting error 40 because of the CPU and the NAND miscommunication, if it's not the NAND, it's usually the the lines disconnected from CPU as well. Uh, we're gonna see. Alrighty, so it's the third one, and then there's the guard. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, you need to be very, very careful while doing this repair. It's not, uh, 
Is a, a said your phone could uh, die as well. Okay, let's do it. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna cover the CPU. So we're going to cover the CPU like this. If you're going to use the tape, just be careful, don't put it too tight. Lots of people get issues using this tape, but this is very good stuff if you know how to use it. Okay, so don't put it too tight, otherwise it will press your CPU or the CPU or the RAM. Alrighty, let's start. So I'll show you what I did. So put the So that's the CPU. And yeah, I've covered it with this. Alrighty. Okay, let's start. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna reflow the CPU, but very very careful. We're gonna look on this solder the next to one next to the sim tray here once this is melted we're gonna stop and we're gonna see the bubbles coming from the CPU as well that's when we're gonna stop and then we're gonna keep pressing press it yeah we're not gonna touch the CPU or we're not gonna touch the RAM okay let's start So this is for the people who can't uh, who can't make the jumpers or or not not confident enough to do the jumpers. Put a little bit of pace so I know if the stuff is coming out with the bubbles. Yep. So we're going to keep it holding and pressed the sim tray until the solder dries, goes hard. Okay, let's check it. It doesn't look like it's been done, but let's try. No, it's actually done. Yep. So now they both have obviously because the cpu is hot so the readings are different but um, if we see carefully the readings are down now so so that's three six eight nine on the clock 
on the data and this 3 Three seven three is the is the clock, so they're both reading pretty much same. There'll be a little bit different between both lines, not much. Yeah, they're pretty much same. Seventy six, and this is seventy eight. Yeah, seems like it's done. Let's try. This is a um, pretty much permanent solution. I have found. I have fixed a. Uh, even error 40 this way as well but you gotta you gotta be very very careful and uh, hopefully don't damage your phone I don't know where I put the fucking house in uh, yes, yeah. Yeah, so you gotta be very very careful while doing these repairs. This could so I have already got it out of uh, recovery, I think. So what it was doing, it was uh, it was boot looping. I don't know if it's gonna work or not because sometimes phone can die as well because of the CPU flow. These aftermarket screens. Hmm. <coughs> okay, here you go. So we got the Apple logo. Can you see the phone? Yeah, we got the Apple logo and let's see if it boots up. So it was boot looping with the error 9, missing the line from the EEPROM to the CPU. And I just um, reflowed the CPU. But you have to be very careful. I reflowed the CPU because it got all the NC pads around, plus it got. Um, it got ground on one side so there is not many pads only two pads they both coming to it from so that's why I covered the rest of the CPU so if you need to do the do the error, error 40 there you go it's, it's done says so yep so the phone is on no more boot loop so there was um, so this phone was boot looping because of the missing line from the EEPROM to the CPU and while the restore the it was showing the error 9 um i have i have fixed uh, error 40 before as well the same way and this is the easiest way for the people who can't take risk to to grind the grind the ram but this is very very risky and same the even the even the other method is very risky when you when you drill through the RAM to to the CPU, so the phone is all working. We will uh, we'll see again. The ones. So I hope watch the video carefully. What I did, follow the steps, and you should be all good. So all the please bros should be thankful to me. So these are the two lines. One. 
So that's the data. 403. That's the clock. Here you go, 400. Beautiful. So that's done. That's the quickest. That's the qu <laughs> quickest error nine fixed. And please um. Please subscribe me on the YouTube and I hope you like the video. Enjoy. Thank you for watching.